Hello everyone out there, this is Ladio Suzura. Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Y Nuzlocke. So, here we are in Pokemon well, in the Pokemon Professor Sycamore's lab, and we just got TM54 False Swipe. Which actually might be pretty useful, I'm thinking. Is are there anyone on the team that can learn it? No. Okay, it is not very useful. Um well, for now, I'll give Kate the Charizard at Y, not that it's necessary. Actually, I have no reason to... Actually, I have no reason for her to hold it for now. Eventually, she might be able to use it. Hint, hint. But, for now, we'll just keep it in the bag. So, let's go downstairs. Go to floor one, why not? So, okay, so here we are downstairs in the Pokemon Sycamore Professor Laboratory of whatnot in Lumio City, so I will be able to meet them soon then. Yes! The children chosen by the Professor. I wonder what potential they have. And here's one of them now. That's Lady Lazaro. Lady Lazaro, come here a second. Okay, I guess I'm coming here. Oh, you received the Pokedex from the Professor then. How wonderful. That is a wonderful thing indeed. You are one of the chosen ones. I am Lysander. I've trained. I've tried to learn as much about Pokemon as I can to help build a brighter future. Professor Sycamore has taught me so much. Oh, I see. You have a Holocaster. Knowledge is power, after all. Put it to good use. Now listen, it is vital in this world to become a better place. And the people and Pokemon chosen to make the world better must work tirelessly to achieve this goal. But I'll be off. Please give Professor Sycamore my best. My desire. Is for a more beautiful world. That is a very noble goal, sir. Though I wonder what. Yeah, I agree with um with Sina. I wonder what kind of beautiful world that is because I can't imagine it's very good. I mean, you are so obviously the villain that it's not even funny. So, oh, and here are our friends. Lot, it's a place I'm gonna go check out. So I'll see you around. Okay, fine, I'll see you around. There's something I want to talk to you about. I've been waiting at Cafe Soleil, neighbor. Okay, Cafe Soleil, that sounds interesting. I wonder what Serena uh, wants to talk about. Why couldn't she just use the Holocaster? No clue, but it seems hush hush. I am curious about what's going on. We should probably stay out of it. Hey, Lat. To get to camp for your town, leave the lab, turn left, and go straight. That, that Cafe Soleil Serena was talking about is over that way, too. Okay, that sounds very good. So, I guess we will be heading with our friends, apparently. In this city may be very large, but if you stay in the main streets, you shouldn't get lost. Well, all things considered, there's a power outage, so we really can't leave the main streets. So, I'm not too concerned about that kind of thing. So, I'm just going to heal up, because we did have quite the battle with Sycamore. He... He is, um, not very strong, but he's also not the weakest opponent we've ever faced. So, I mean, uh, Fletchy did well against Viola, and everyone did well against Sycamore, so we are on a good track so far. Oh, look, there is Shauna. She is right outside this building. It was interesting. Now, check it out, this out! You can make trainer PR videos here! It's called the PR Video Studio! I'm making your own PR video! It's like your dream come true! They can make quick videos for you! Or you can edit your own masterpiece! Put my heart into those 10 seconds and put them out there for the world to see! Okay, 10 second videos. That is, that is nice, I suppose. Okay, let's come here. Okay, welcome trainer. Let's make a PR video. Okay, let's do it then. Fine, let's do it then. Your style. Let's, 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 let's be fun. Let, let, let's make it a fun time, because it's always nice to have fun. So, here we go with the PR video. So, I guess we will be watching a PR video that will... Please welcome Labio Azriel. So, looks like I am dancing around or whatever. It is indeed Labio Azriel. I see it is. Okay. 
That is nice. That is very nice. So I like it. Okay, fine. That is fine. Um, I don't care. Fine. I'll, I'll share it. I don't really care. It's only a PR video. I'm not too concerned. Wow! Okay, fine. I'll take the lens case so I can now customize not only my clothes, but also my eyes. I don't like wearing contact lenses. I prefer glasses, although I prefer nothing at all. Though, in reality, there's not much I can really do about that, so whatever. I guess I will check what kind of contact lens. I do technically have blue eyes, even though this isn't exactly anything to do with my actual... Yeah, that is just bizarre, but whatever, that's fine. I don't really care. It is, um, blue eyes. I think it's too literally. It's too literal for blue. So, get our ch look changed. Nah, I don't really need any touch-ups here. It's fine. I'm, I'm just... I am... I am perfectly fine looking the way I am. Because I don't have any, um, any problems with... I don't have any problems with my own body. I am happy to be like me. So, there's a clothing store we can't get into. There's an evolution stone shop. Hey, what do you know? It's a stone shop. That could be. That could be. Hey, 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 hey. Let me. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go in here. Yeah, yeah. Yes, that's right. That's right. That's right. Let's let's check out the shop here because maybe we can buy some mega stones, but I doubt we can afford it because a blastoise site. And that'll cost more money than we could possibly imagine. A million dollars, okay. I could probably afford ten of them in my X version, but I can't even afford one here. So the Stone Emporium, we have a lot of money. Two thousand dollars, that's kind of a lot. Maybe I'll, um, I'll let S evolve another time, I suppose. I was gonna give S the chance to evolve, but I can't really afford it currently. But I guess I can, but I, uh only have so much money that I can really deal with. Okay, I just accidentally walked down this alley. Alright, here we go. Let's see how much it costs to get our hair cut. Okay, um, styling and color, $3,000. I can, I don't think I can afford that today, I apologize. I will, um, I will deal with looking the way I look now for the time being. I will have to just deal with that. So, here we go into, well, talking to Trevor. Huh, have you been to the cafe already? No, I have not been to the cafe, have I? Okay, there's Serena. Could you come here for a sec? Okay, fine, sure, why not? Why not? I'll get rid of that message in the bottom, and we shall see what she wants for us. Oh, it's Lysander, and it's Diantha! Just so you know, neighbor, L Lysander is the head of Lysander Labs, which created the Holocaust, or a video messaging device. You already know who Diantha is, right? She's one of the most famous movie stars in the world, after all. I wonder what the two have, are doing. Are they... are... um... are doing here together? Yeah, two famous people. I wonder what could possibly go wrong. You played a young girl so wonderfully in your debut on the silver screen. Wouldn't you rather remain young and beautiful forever and always play such roles? What a strange question. Why would I want to play the same old roles forever? Youth may be beautiful, but it's not all there is to life. Everything changes. I want to live and change like that too. So I look forward to playing different roles as I get older. You are chosen to be a movie star, correct? Isn't it your duty to be be forever beautiful? Everything beautiful should stay that way forever. I would, ev I would end the world in an instant so that beauty never fades. I can't sa um, stand the thought of a world becoming ugly. Oh, hello, Ladio Lazaro. This is Diantha, one of the most accomplished movie stars in Kalos. She moves the multitudes with her excellent acting. Which is to say she dedicates her life to making other people happy. Oh, if only everyone would like her. What a beautiful world this would be, if you'll excuse me. Okay, fine, you may you may leave, that's that's fine. And who are you two? My name is Serena, and this is Ladio Lazaro, right? I heard Lysander call you that. But, um, both, you both have lovely names. Oh, and you're both trainers. Don't your Pokemon look happy? I'm a trainer myself, in my off time. I look forward to battling someday. Shh, 
sure. I, I guess we can battle someday. I might be able to make time for that. Um, maybe, perhaps, there's a chance. Okay, we're gonna be challenging Serena as a rival. That is just, that is, that is, uh, This is gonna be interesting, I'm sure. But, what do you want me to do? I mean, let's just head toward the exit of the city because we got a hollow clip. That is, that is nice because hollow clips are always nice and. So, check this out. I'm on Route 5 right now, and I'm just, and it's just hopping with wild Pokemon. Hurry and check it out! Okay, Tierno, fine, I'll check it out. That is just, that is, that, that is interesting, because, because hollow clips are, um, are very, very clippy and hollowy, and, oh, gosh. Creepy dude, it, creepy dude, nine o'clock. Nice to meet you, friend. They call me Mr. Bonding. Have you heard of O-Powers? That expression of yours tell me, tells me you haven't. Don't worry. I'll tell you all about it. O-Powers are mysterious forces and all kinds of usual, um, um, useful effects. They can make your Pokemon stronger or even help you get more money. And friends you have nearby will also benefit from them. They truly are mysterious powers. Let's get started, shall we? It's bonding time! Oh, creepy. You received the... The lights go out, and he's... We're bonding. That's, that's, that's... Weird. Okay, I don't know if I can use these in the Nuzlocke. I'm not sure. Because perhaps they could be useful. But I'm not particularly sure. Otherwise, I could just spam them during a gym battle, and that would be, like, kind of somewhat unfair. On the other hand, we have the XP a share. Gar! Wait, Lucario! Okay, so... Sorry about that, are you okay? I was just doing some special training with my Lucario, and all of a sudden it dashed off. What kind of special training do you do with your Lucario? Hey, Lucario, what's going on with you? Did you get drawn with this boy's aura or something? Car! Huh? Well, it seems Lucario likes you. Ah, thanks. See, Lucario can read people's auras. I guess the thing in your aura has made this one take a liking to a stranger. This Lucario is always getting worked up in battle with my other one. Maybe it's just been waiting for a trainer to appear strong, to appear who's strong enough to challenge it. Oops, sorry. I was in such a role. I forgot to even introduce myself. I'm Corina, the Shallow City, Shallow City Gym Leader. If you're clicking gym badges, I'm sure we'll be battling again sooner or later. I'm looking forward to it. I hope to see you. You know how to roll with the punches. Okay, fine. I guess we can roll with the punch. We'll be battling. Okay. Bye, Lucario. We'll see you eventually, I'm sure. I guess. Maybe there's a chance, perhaps. Who knows? Okay. So. People say we're like two peas in a pod. They say that we have two halves, two halves of a hole. Okay, two halves of a hole. That is awesome. Because that means... That it will be one battle of a puzzle and a mine, and oh, look at those things. I just thought of something. What happens if our first encounter is a horde? That would suck. A, because I have to beat the whole horde, and B, because I don't know how I would beat the whole horde. I'm gonna tag team on the puzzle. Oh my, that's gonna hurt. Eh, not too much. Okay. Alright, puzzle. How do you like that water pulse? Bam! Goodbye, Plussle! Way to go, ass. Alright, so, and Rick is growing to level 18, which is very nice. S is growing almost level 14. Very close. So close that you can feel it deep down. Okay, that is... That is not gonna be too big of an impact on Rick, but it will affect S quite a bit because it is going for a Vine Whiff, which is a physical move. So, here we go, as it goes for a quick attack. So that did absolutely nothing. It got a crit, too, and still did nothing. So, whatever, you take what you can get. So we're gonna go for a Vine Whiff, which won't quite beat it. I'm pretty, uh, yeah, it didn't quite beat it. So, what can you do? I'm just gonna go for a quick attack, because I'm pretty sure that thing isn't static. I don't think it can be static. So, this should just get rid of that thing right off the bat, since we are faster, and since this is both priority plus one, since it has quick attack as well, it should get taken down pretty easily, and it is gone. So, S grows to level 14, and we are on our way to victory, I suppose, hopefully, maybe. Benjamin grows to level 14, Flo grows to level 10, which is so nice, and it learns Lucky Chance, so we will stop getting critted every once in a while, every so often, every battle, whatnot. I don't know, crits can be annoying. And Fletchy is evolving! What do you know? I don't know if it's the best thing, because then she's going to be, I think, gaining her secondary typing, which is going to be a problem, possibly. Or maybe it would be helpful, who knows. But, 
Far be it for me to step aside to stop a Pokemon from going through the natural progression of their life in a Nuzlocke. Because honestly, bigger, stronger, faster, better you name it, and it probably is. So learning Ember, so this will be a stab move. So Flail does I'm getting rid of Flail because I don't see the point of it. I I don't want to um use a move that will affect how much HP it has. I'd rather just do a sad amount. And Tackle isn't the best move in the world, but it's also not the worst in the world. Quick Attack has priority. And we will be encountering... Drumroll, please! A Pancham! Okay! Okay, um... This is the... the this is interesting. I'm gonna throw a Pokeball right off the bat. Hopefully we catch it. If we don't, we don't. I guess we're not have to weaken it with someone else. Because Rick, Rick will probably beat it. Okay, Pancham doesn't want to join us right off the bat, which kind of sucks. But what do you want me to do? Actually, I'm wondering. Maybe, I don't think Lick will beat it. But Lick can paralyze it. Okay, it's going for that leer. It's leering at me. I'm scared now because, um, I'm scared because I don't want it to lower my defense. I want to paralyze it, but I can't paralyze it. I'm afraid that if I go for another lick, it will either get a crit or it will just be a three-hit KO anyway. So I am going to just go for a Pokeball and hope for the best. Then I will go back to Lumio City and heal up because I'm afraid to see what happens next. So I will... Hope that Pancham will get caught, and Pancham is caught. So, Pancham will be joining the team. And I will be nicknaming it, I suppose. So, and I know Pancham is a really good HM slave, but I don't want to use an HM slave in a Nuzlocke. I feel like that's just wrong. So, it is a male. I will be... Um, you will be... Handy. It's like Andy with a P. It's like Andy with a P. Alright, Pandy, you sent the box one. So far, no one has died, which is just great. I am so happy. I don't want to lose anyone, and so far, we haven't lost anyone, which is awesome. Unfortunately, I still face the wrath of a Nuzlocke that I couldn't get a Pikachu, nor could I get an Azrael or a Litleo. But, you know what? You can take what you get. Take what you can get. So, here we go to the Pokemon Center. Just to heal up, because it is a Nuzlocke, and it would suck if anyone died. And healing is the most useful way not to die, and I don't want to lose anyone. I don't want anyone to go away forever. And that, that This would be the best way to avoid it. And, should anyone... Do I want Pudge and Pandy to get some experience here? I want everyone to have some experience. Hmm. Alright, Benjamin. Um, you're normal, so I feel like... I feel like the, um, fighting type might be a little... I feel like the fighting type might be more useful for the team than the... than the normal. So, I'm gonna give Benjamin, and I'm gonna let, since I do have Fletchy, I'm gonna give Pudge, a, let Pudge keep its break. So, that will work for now, I suppose. So, here we go. So here we go as we continue and go back to Route 5, Versant Road, and we will hopefully not have too much trouble here. My goodness, Pokemon hordes are certainly intense. Yeah, they're just like a dance team made up of Pokemon, aren't they? Oh, Tiana, do you ever think of anything other besides dancing? Nope, even during Pokemon battles, I'm always checking out their moves. Yeah, see, he's got the moves. Then my feet just start moving too, and I can't help it, you know? With, with, like with Sword Dance, I love it! I guess why I can never win. Yeah, if you use moves like Sword Dance, which only do 
but only raise attack and don't do anything other than that, yeah, you're not gonna be offensive, you're gonna lose. Oh hey, it's Lot! Did your Pokemon know any sweet moves? Show me in a battle! Oh dear god, okay, fine, here we go. Alright, Tierno. Well, you look, you look angry. That is, that is, that is, that is some core fish you have there, so... I am leading off with Rick, and hopefully we can make something happen here. Uh, I'm gonna go for a stab litter pulse. Hopefully I will confuse you and you will hurt yourself. I don't want to kill your core fish. I feel bad, but at least I confused it, so at least it won't know what's going on when it when it um when it unfortunately meets Okay, that's gonna hurt. When it meets mortality. Okay. Um I apologize ahead of time for letting anything happen to your for making something happen to your core fish, but it's but it's giving a good fight. It didn't hurt itself, which is which is more than I can say for it usually when my Pokemon are confused. What can I say? I'm just gonna fish it off with a quick attack. Because um why not? Goodbye, core fish. Okay, so He said he uses You said he use Swords Dance, only uses Vice Grip. You're a liar, man. Stop lying. So, okay, and Kate has grown to level twelve, which is nice, I suppose ish. Whatever, okay. So, we got 1,200 Pokemon dollars, and that is nice. So, let's here talk about some Pokemon horde battles and encounters and stuff, because we're heading toward a campfire's town, and we got honey, because this will help us find hordes, and, well, horde encounters are, are, are nice, I suppose. They're really good when you're trying to find shiny Pokemon. Of course, since this is a Nuzlocke, I really can't shiny hunt, because that would be cheating, I feel like, since I'm allowed to catch shiny Pokemon. So, I suppose, is it considered cheating in a Nuzlocke, though, if you do shiny hunt? Um, I wonder that. So, okay. A horde of gulpin. That is that is that is very poisonous, very toxic, very dangerous, and I don't really feel like battling them right now. If I ever get surf, then I will deal with if I have some moves like Dazzling Gleam or Surf that'll do a lot of damage to a lot of Pokemon, then maybe I'll consider just knocking out all the hordes at once. Oh I could have had a Skiddo. That is that is that is a sad face. Okay. I love Skiddo. That's that's at least we can still ride a Skiddo, but now I can't get a Skiddo. By the way, uh, in a Nuzlocke, I guess... Uh, I guess in a Nuzlocke, there is no Friend Safari thing, because the, um... I was gonna say how what happened to the Friend Safari, but in the Friend Safari, I suppose that would be post-game anyway, so it'd be after the Nuzlocke to begin with. Hi! Wanna know why I always wear shorts when I walk through the tall grass? Um, because they're comfortable and easy to wear. I've I've heard this m time and time again from youngsters. They like shorts. I don't know what it is with them, but they have some obsession with shorts. Shorts, 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 shorts. So that is. Oh goodness gracious! Why did I do that? You're gonna go for a vine whip, and you're gonna do a lot of damage, aren't you? Oh thank gosh! You went for a leader. Thank you so much. Now I can just kill you with a water pulse. Goodbye. I'm sorry for killing your pants age. It's, it's, it's a very sad day for you, I'm sure, but, um, there's not much I could really do about that because you challenged me to a battle, man. So, so, why don't you tell me your answer for why you like wearing shorts? Because they're comfy and easy to wear. Okay, yeah, I, I figured. That is, that is very nice, I suppose. That is, that is totally nonsense because why do I... Never mind. Okay, here we go. We are in Camphire Town, and we got a Hollow Clip because, because why not? Thank you for using a Hollow Caster. Lysander Lab developed the Hollow Caster to make the lives of trainers richer, fuller, and more convenient. We hope you'll continue to enjoy the the fine services this device provides. Okay, that is that is interesting. Nice automated message, I suppose. It's creepy because I guess that means they can spy on us, and that is. That is kind of a problem, and problems are bad because because bad things are not good. It's a paradox. Problems are bad because bad things are not good. Actually, it's not a paradox. It's just truth. It's just a cyclical thinking. It's um. It is true because it is true. 
meaning the fact itself is not enough evidence that it is in fact false. So here we go into this chateau, I suppose. Sh Chabonneau Castle. Hey, lad. Oh, hey. Hey, hey Shauna. An acquaintance of yours? Two visitors to Chabonneau Castle? I can't remember the last time we've been so busy. This castle, chateau if you will, is a matter house of a noble family. Maybe run a little run down, but that's because of the history of this place. During the history, the owner of this castle gave away a lot of stuff for everyone, and that's why it feels so empty. The end. That's it? Don't you have anything related to Mega Evolution? That's it. What in the world is Mega Evolution? Sir, it's back again. Is it time already? I need to go to Route 7, but please take your time looking around. Okay, fine. Go to Route 7. I wonder what that is. I wonder what that's about. Yeah, I just said that. That's... Also, in Route 7, since the first thing you can find is the Snorlax, does, this, does that mean that you can't catch anything after the Snorlax? Or is the Snorlax considered an event that you therefore can't catch? Or is the Snorlax considered something you can catch? I don't know. We're still a while away from that, but I'm just wondering. Because I, I figure it's something that's gonna have to happen eventually, because I'm gonna have to make a decision if I can catch Snorlax or not. Nonetheless, we're here in Camphia Town. We're gonna head toward Route 7. So, I suppose that's a nice thing to do. Fire type Pokemon. That is sure. I'll, I'll show you I'll show you Kate. Why not? I could show you a Fletchy, but it doesn't really matter because they're both fire. Oh, a, a nice berry. Um that's a good berry. I'll take a pick a page of berry because I uh, I feel like poison is gonna is well toxic poison would kill us. Alright, sweetheart. That is that that's so sweet, especially you know it's really sweet. That's nice of you. Free stuff. Free stuff is nice because because you can never have enough free stuff because you you don't have to pay for it. And when you don't pay for stuff, that's that's always it's always great when you don't have to pay for stuff because well, paying for stuff isn't the most fun thing in the world. And paying for stuff costs money, and money isn't something that we all have. Yes, this is the cow's region, man. Don't. Don't complain about it. I, um, it. It's the Kalos region. It's this is it. it, it that's not, there's nothing really wrong with Kalos. I, I haven't had any problems with it in the past, and I hope not to have any in the future. I I don't want any one of my team to die. So I guess we're gonna be heading this way toward Route Seven. So thank you for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. Goodbye.